Jed was 30 and I was the ripe old age of 22 and that's when we opened up Guardian Tree Experts in 1961. We did the pioneer work of IPM which is now an industry standard. We were one of the first companies to start using the Moget tree injection system which was the tree injection system on the market then. We would look at something if it had a, uh, a future we would get into it and by the time the rest of the industry would get into it we were the acknowledged leaders. I've always been happy to share my experience and knowledge. I remember one of my foremen coming up to me one time and he told me, he says, Walter, we don't look at this company as a job, we look at it as a family. Becoming a family, that's what I always wanted to do. I think the biggest keys to success are the ability to take risks. Even the turtle doesn't get ahead unless he sticks his neck out. And that's what you've got to do to be a success. You've got to stick your neck out and you've got to take risks. I met Mary Lou in 1960 and we were married in 62. It uh, took me two years to convince her that I was a worthwhile enterprise. And quite frankly, that was one of the best sales I ever made in selling her on taking me on as her husband. When we were first married, she was working and, and brought in an income, which we needed at the time because I was plowing profits back into the business. But then when, when the first little one came along, then she, beca she became a homemaker. I made the living and she made the living worthwhile. But well, one particular evening, it was around 11 o'clock at night, and I was typing up this proposal for Walt. It was about a four-page proposal. So about the bottom of the third page, uh, I hear on the dictaphone, oh, by the way, uh, you need to go back to the first page, second paragraph, and redo that. I went <laughs> stomping up the steps, and I said, you know, there is no as you were on a typewriter. Oh, I'm just a cowboy. I was playing country music. I had a friend of mine um, who was a professional musician and with a uh, multi-channel recorder and recorded about a half a dozen tunes and put them on a CD. And so now I can listen to what I used to be. Over the years, I've worked with a lot of, of young arborists and tried to help them to move themselves up to an upper level. I'm very happy to say that some of the captains of industry I see in the, in the tree care industry are people that I worked with when they were just young and up and coming. And Andy Ross was another one of those. So over the 20 plus years that I've been actively involved in the industry, uh, for 99% of those, Walt Money is always there. That he's an amazing representative for the association. He's an amazing uh, contributor to the industry. He's always willing to help. He's always willing to visit. He's always willing to uh, anything you need, both on the tactical front with your business and with specific information, but also on the on the uh, on the motivational front too. It was really pleasantly surprised. Um, quite frankly, I didn't think that I had done anything of great merit that would uh, result in an award. And I was very humbled by it. And it was just heartwarming. I was absolutely taken wordless as a result of it. 